Whatever you think I am, I am not that. I am solely a consciousness expressing itself through this vessel. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Measy Mel. Back today with some more knowledge. Now, look, bro. Bro, there is no such thing as a friend. Do you realize that F-R-I-E-N-D is a thing? It ends with end because there is going to be an end. You have friends that are there for you momentarily. Everything is momentarily, bro. There's no such thing as an everlasting friend. Because if it was, they wouldn't be a friend. They would be your brother. Or they would be your sister. Or they would be your family. Which ends with I Y, Which means I love you. Okay? Now look. Whenever you have friends, what happens? Subconsciously, whatever your friend has. Or whatever... Your, whatever you have that your friend sees you having, if they see you being at this point where you're doing better than them, that's automatic envy. Now, that's envy is love and hate. So they love you for you having these things, but they hate you because they don't have what you have. You feel me? Like, this is why I don't have no friends. Like, bro, I'm 20 years old, and I've only had, like, five Five friends that I can count on my hand. Like, my whole life. I've been alone, bro. And I didn't realize this. But, bro, I've never really had friends. Like, I had friends that used to come to my house. That was three of them, right? I got Christian Keelan and Harvey. That was when I was fucking, like, 10 or something like that. Then I moved in with one of my friends in, in college, right? I mean, in high school, Joey, right? So I got four. Then I had one friend, Harley, right? So I got five. Those are the only friends that I really had my whole life. And it's not even on some... I used to hang out with them every day. But I used to, like, go chill with them every once in a while. Or we talk every once in a while. I ain't never had no friend that I'd be with them all the time. And I realized that just now. And look, if you're watching my video and you're one of my five friends, you probably don't even know you're one of my five friends. You feel me? Like, only some of y'all niggas know that y'all really was cool. Like, I was really cool with y'all. You feel me? Because I don't really, I never really expressed myself as far as what I felt about other people or what I thought about my friends. Because I just was a person who was always to myself. And I, bro, I'm just now expressing this self because I never understood this. I'm just talking about it. I'm literally... Whatever happened, bro, is what it is. So, look, these friends, right? Whenever you grow up, y'all all change. Y'all might go different ways, right? So, a lot of my friends are still in college. Some of my friends are in music. One of my friends is working right now, right? Just think about it. But me, I'm by myself because I got shit I'm doing. They got shit that they doing. And if we're not on the same path, I can't hang out with them because I value myself. Now, I expect them to value themselves as well so that if they have something that they want to do, if they have a plan, that they're going to execute that plan for themselves. I don't want to hold my friends back. So that's why it's the end to the friendship. It's not like we ain't never going to talk again or we never going to be cool, but you want to spend all your time with this friend, but you got to realize everything is temporary. What happens when you die from this earth? Are they going to be with you? No. So why would you spend all your time trying to cater to them? Whenever they not even going to be here when you die, you're going to come back to this earth. And if y'all was meant to be friends, y'all in y'all next life, y'all next life, y'all next time y'all come back to this earth, y'all will be friends again. You feel me? Like, that's how it is. If it's meant to be, it will be. There's no such thing as I'm going to make this person or I'm going to make this happen. Because whatever happens, you got to realize you are your consciousness. You are not the person or you are not in control of nothing in this earth. You always got to realize, bro, you are the consciousness that is viewing and spectating what is happening right now. You are a spectator. It's like you, you are able to watch your thoughts. You are able to watch what you do. But what you do is nothing. It's not you. What you do is just what's happening. It's what's happening in front of your face. And you can't like literally, bro. Why did you wake up this morning? And the first thing you did was you took a shit. Did you think about that? Did you think about going downstairs and cooking or did you just go cook? And what you cook? Did you make some fat foods or did you make some vegan food? Because if you did, did you choose to make that? Or did you choose to like what you ate or did you just eat it? You feel me? But then even whenever you start switching up your life and you start drinking water, this non-fluoride, don't got no fluoride in it. You start eating food that's vegan. Why'd that happen? Did you choose to do that? 
or did it just happen? Because I ain't even gonna lie, for a long time, I felt like I was in control. Like, I used to eat a whole lot of shitty foods, and I was like, bro, why can I not stop this? But then whenever I needed to stop doing what I did, it just happened. Like, all of a sudden, I just start being vegan. Nobody told me to do it. Like, I just felt like for a long time, I needed to stop doing this. Like, even in high school, bro, like, no, nah, I was in middle school, but I didn't eat chicken for like four years. And what I thought it was, was I didn't eat chicken because I didn't want to have that stigma of being black. Because what they always say is black people eat watermelon, black people eat chicken, black people do this, black people do that. And I did none of those things. I never, I, I did eat watermelon as a kid, but when I grew up, I started being away from that stigma. I didn't want to eat watermelon. I didn't eat chicken. I never drank fruit punch. I didn't drink none of that shit because I didn't want to be that stigma of black. You feel me? Because you got to realize... What is black? What is black? It's the absence of light, right? But actually what it is, it absorbs all light. But it's actually the absence of light because it is all light. You feel me? So look, you got this light and it's correlated with darkness. It's correlated with danger. It's correlated with nothingness, right? But it's correlated with everything, but they don't correlate it with that. And then they correlate white with being purity, being beautiful, being this, that. You got to realize that's why I was the reason why I was, but it wasn't that. It was because my soul was literally telling me, this is what you need to stop doing. You don't need to be eating this chicken. And then when I, I start eating it again, my whole life started becoming egotistical again. And then I stopped eating it recently. And like, bro, my life is, I'm fine. Like, I always thought, I need to go eat meat. Bitch, you don't need, you don't need meat. You don't need it. But look, that was always because my friends told me that even whenever I tried to go vegan, the friends that I was hanging out with was like, you don't need to be vegan because you need to eat. You need meat. You need meat, bro. But they don't understand that what I was going through was a whole different lifestyle. Like my life was changing. So when your life changes, the people that you hanging out with right now is not going to be the same people that you hanging out with after your life change. Because if you are hanging out with these people, you are the people you hang out with. You feel me? So if you hang out with people that are smoking all day and you want to be a business person, you want to have your own shit and you want to be this, you got to imagine yourself at the top. You got to imagine yourself being and doing those things in order for you to be there. And if what you are doing and the people you are hanging out with right now isn't that, then you have to change and become that so that you can be that. You have to carry out those actions and duties of that character or that um that figure that you want to be. And if you aren't that, then you got to change shit in your life. And it all starts with your friends. It all starts with your mindset. You feel me? It's that simple. So look, your friends are not your friends. There's no such thing as a friend. Because even, them motherfuckers don't love you. Like, they might say that they love you, but they only love you to the extent that they can love. So how can they love if they don't even know that they have chakras? If they don't even know what a love vibration is? How can they love you if they don't even know what that means? You feel me? So you got to realize that too. If your friends aren't here and have unconditional love for you and realize that whatever you do, I can't control what you do, but I want the best for you. And if that means that I'm not in your life no more, then do that. Then that's not your friend. It's that simple. So yeah, bro, I'm out.